and uh, uh, for IT sector, it's uh, uh, this is the sector. Uh, this is uh, will be a major major development. If speaking about IT sector, uh, Maria just attended. It was last month. Um, uh, last month, uh, beginning of uh, July, there was the first uh, Polish Indian I IT uh, IT forum in Krakow, Polish city, uh, Krakow, and with the participation of uh, both uh, Polish and Indian business. And uh, if you would like, you can. You can brief us uh, about uh, this particular event because this actually concerns the, the question of of the gentleman. We can offer the same co the same kind of cooperation uh, to uh, India. So this is IT. So as you see, as you can as you can see, this is the so wide uh, sector that uh, you can find computer games. At the same time, you can. You can. Uh, you, you are. We are speaking about the uh, space, and we can speak. Uh, speaking about about uh, uh, the spaceships. So this is uh, this is the, the, the sector which which uh, now contains uh, almost uh, everything uh, which uh, concerns uh, the, the the whole spectrum of our life. You can ask them. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Ask them. Yes. If speaking about. This Speaking about you know what we can offer, I can tell you that uh, uh, in Warsaw alone we have 18 Indian restaurants, <laughs> and this is those restaurants are not only for Indians. I mean we have plenty of folks uh, going by. So uh, across Poland we have plenty of restaurants. This is the first. The second is that uh, you can really feel like at home in Poland, but not due to the climate, because it's quite, let's uh, say, rather difficult uh, for us to reach the level of temperature during the year in India. Uh, but uh, uh, let us say uh, our warmness, our hospitality, uh, and uh, also the, uh, let's say, uh, the uh, skills of our people uh, in uh, not uh, regardless, you know, regardless you are, you are, you have a, a white, blue or brown color uh, workers, we have a very, a lot of skilled workers. It was by Maria already mentioned this issue actually. Uh, if, uh, if you compare you compare us and to Germany, yes, I mean, uh, we have, uh, uh, life is, uh, the life is cheaper okay. in Poland, labor force is cheaper in Poland, at the same level of skills. Uh, the connectivity is at the same level, Why? that's why Amazon moved to Poland, because they, they need connectivity and they have the same level. But uh, the, the, uh, they have this operation is cheaper in Poland. Uh, another issue is incentives from central, both central and local governments. We are offering. Uh, we have a special agency, uh, and I would say that the representative uh, of this agency is sitting just next to me, in charge of investments. And so he can, he can uh, tell you what kind of incentives. And, uh, also, uh, you know, depending uh, which sector you would like to invest in, in Poland. Uh, if you ask about who invested uh, where, so as I said, we invested already 240 million. You invested uh, a little bit more than that in Poland. But the investments are still growing, and uh, because if you if we have already so many successful investments, and your companies as well, so it means that are just in, uh, this is uh, this is a good reason to, to develop uh, our uh, the, the, uh, the investment uh, well.
uh, in Poland uh, we have all the, I mean, all the Tatars, Reliance, uh, Mahindra, Mahindra just is going to establish office, uh, Infosys, Bipro, uh, Uflex, I mean, plenty, plenty of Indian companies are already invested or going to invest, not speaking about Arcelor Metal, because they, they, they bought uh, one of the uh, steel mills in Poland and uh, uh, just recently they uh, informed that uh, they are going to double the investment in Poland. I mean, they are going to uh, invest another uh, 500 million US dollars in my country. Which probably we will need a new uh, agreement with the government of India uh, as a parallel agreement. And with a parallel agreement, uh, we can develop it uh, because our uh, cooperation agreement, uh, I would say, it's uh, quite outdated. We signed it uh, when uh, uh, it was. 1957 something, yes, 1957, India, Poland, we signed a cooperation agreement in uh, education, so I think we should refresh it, I do agree, I do agree with you, and this is a very good idea, and I will bring it immediately to our colleagues uh, in Delhi, it means uh, from the Indian government, uh, it's a very good idea. Uh, and institution, I mean, educational institutions, uh, I mean, to establish in Poland. Ah, yeah. I mean, this is you know, it is within the European Union. Uh, we, we, as you probably know, we have Erasmus Mundus uh, program. When you, for example, are going to one of the universities, uh, one of the countries of the European Union, you can spend it, for example, one or two years, and then you can go for another year to. Uh, different country within the European Union. And this actually, this Erasmus Mundus scheme, and please remember this Erasmus Mundus, uh, Erasmus, Erasmus Mundus, Erasmus Mundus, uh, refer to, to this program, please check with the website of the European Union delegation in Delhi. European Union delegation in Delhi. Uh, this, what you, what you mentioned is, uh, you know, we have P2B, G2G, and here is P2E, I understand. I mean, education to our youth, or you to you. I mean, it's university is to university. Yes, this is the most efficient way to boost the educational cooperation between the countries. And uh, uh, we, uh, I, I met, uh, uh, you know, some vice chancellors uh, from Polish universities, very interested. Uh, having, uh, say, partners on the Indian side, and they even ask me uh, for recommendations, uh, which universities to pick up uh, for the cooperation. And uh, please help me. Yeah, I mean, this training the teachers, I mean, probably it's, it's not a matter of training uh, in the sending the teachers. It's a matter of uh, the having cooperation programs, like your 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 teachers uh, your your experts coming to Poland uh, and our teachers sharing with your experts uh, you know their expertise and their experience in establishing vocational vocational training uh, programs and uh, this will help because your experts then with the help of our teachers and experts will build uh, the system uh, in of skill India by your own because you know this the matter of importing you know the educational system to another country it's so it's it's not uh, in my it's not fortunate idea because every country is its own flavor and so the, the education is always you know there's a matter of, of differences in customs and mentality and everything so I, I think it's better to get the, the experience and then your own people will build uh, based on our system, based on your own system of uh, education, I mean, skilling uh, people, I mean, skilling workers. Uh, you uh, look, 
first of all uh, at the Polish uh, the brand called Inglot. Inglot. Inglot is here. And this is Polish brand. This first. The second brand uh, is uh, also uh, famous already here. It's Belvedere Vodka. Belvedere Vodka is a Polish brand and is available everywhere in India. Another brand is uh, Polish, uh, you know, Polish cheese, processed cheese, uh, called Lactima Company. This is also Polish, Polish brand. Uh, and if we are speaking about, uh, let's say, brands, another brand uh, known in the in uh, India is uh, Copex. Copex, this is mining, mining company. We have a long, long tradition also of the cooperation with, uh, with India. And so, so I can do a lot of, about spreads, but and, yeah. And another, this is in Telangana, I mean Commander. I mean now it's uh, called yeah. Luxus. But Lexus, but uh, in our commander with the, the Polish company, which has oh, been the Luxus, Luxus. A uh, lot of them are visiting, uh, you know, the Golden Triangle, uh, and a lot of them are going to uh, states like Kerala and Goa uh, for Ayurvedic treatment, which is, uh, is becoming more and more popular in Poland. Uh, E-governance. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm ambassador, but uh, you know, I'm within the Polish Foreign Service, uh, and within our ministry, uh, we are in Poland. We have actually no paper documents. Everything is in computer. Everything. No papers. We have also, we introduced, the, our Minister of Interior introduced the system <coughs> called EPUAP. It means the, the system of uh, no service for uh, the citizens. When you, uh, through this, the system, step by step, we, are, we, will, we will have this e-governance. It means everything will be not on paper, but everything will be electronic. It's still now it's becoming step by step it's becoming everything is electronic. Uh, you know, maybe I'm all dated, but uh, all the times you should have paper. Maybe not paper. I, I don't know. Maybe a paper. <laughs> because uh, uh, this is the uh, believe me always uh, always uh, in, in the case of governance you you should think about uh, no security because the system. You know, the system of and the internet is global, and uh, everyone has access to the global and uh, worldwide, uh, worldwide uh, links. And, and uh, you, you are. Uh, this is the matter of uh, good firewalls to set up and the security system, uh, also for for this uh, e-governance. Because if not, uh, too many people. Uh, would try to, to have access to the system and can uh, really create uh, a lot of trouble for, for all the, uh, you know, the, the members of the civil service and uh, civil servants uh, trying to help citizens. Uh, in, in our understanding, well, what, what, uh, what the Polish government is doing is, uh, is uh, digitalizing, digitalizing the all the services and uh, uh, all the all the procurements uh, as well. Uh, uh, we still we are we mostly mostly are we are publishing tenders online, but still we have a regulation that uh, should be parallelly also on the paper. But as I said, there is a representative of uh, those universities in India, uh, in Delhi. And uh, you can 
just tell your email address to one of my colleagues and we will we will send you coordinates of the gentleman from Delhi and uh, you, he will contact you and he probably uh, will be very helpful. Speaking about scores, uh, I think this is that if, if you are if you if you touch upon you know PhD, this is not the matter of scores. This is the matter of your individual uh, conversation with your future promoter, with professor. I mean, why I just I can tell you it's by by, by incidentally because my father is a, is a professor and he has many students. I mean. Uh, in, is running the PhD programs at Warsaw University. And, and the picking up of the students for PhD program, this is, let's say, his own decision because this is a matter of, he, he can, he will, after the, let's say, 30 minutes to one hour discussion, he will tell you if it's, you are prospective or not for PhD uh, within the state-owned companies. But certainly if you, if you, if you are trying to find a particular tender, uh, you can contact economic, I mean that uh, commercial economic section of the embassy of Poland and you certainly can contact embassy of India in Poland as well. Uh, but certainly try to try first with us. <coughs>